Hi everybody! Happy Thursday! Lori here coming to you live. Let me get my hair off of my microphone and can you all just let me know if you can, oh my god my hair is wrapped around this microphone. <laughs> can you all just let me know if you can hear me okay? I dropped my phone the other day and um, so my sound has been acting up through my microphone. I'm going to have to get a new phone. So, hey, how is everyone doing? Go ahead and Jenna, I see you. Go ahead and can you hear me okay? I know there's a little bit of a lag too. So, hi everybody. I wanted to, yes, okay, cool. Good, thank you, Jenna. I'm glad <laughs> that the microphone is working well enough. So, hi, I wanted to pop in here today. I know a couple of you saw my post about, hey, we're going to be talking about how I manifested my dream home. I'm currently in my dream office, as you can just see the little bits here and pieces. Um, that part's going to be coming in part two. Um, but I wanted to pop in here and just share because this story has really helped um, not only myself, my family, and so many other people as well. So I'm going to go back to the beginning and get started. So about, what was it, 11 years ago, we lived in a different house, right? And it was, you know, we had uh, three daughters at that point. So we, there's five of us living there, and it was like this super adorable 1,300 square foot house, and I loved it. It was such an amazing house, and we lived um, we lived two doors down from my mom, so it was like perfect, right? Like, it was just like this like this perfect scenario that the house even came. It didn't even hit the market. We heard about it, and I was able to snatch it up. I guess I've manifested a couple of houses here now that I think about it. But anyway, <laughs> so we lived in this amazing 1300 square foot house with our kids and, you know, we were, it was, things were getting tight. I was totally okay with it though. Um, but one day we were sitting down to have dinner at our little dining room where you could barely pull the chairs out. Right. And we sat down at the table and we were eating dinner and I noticed my husband just looking out the dining room window because it faced the street. So it faced, you know, the other houses on the other side. And he just had like this dreamy, dreamy look in his eyes. And I'm like, what are you looking at? You know, what do you, what do you see? And he's like, I'm looking at the house across the street from us. And I'm like, okay. So he said, you know, it's just, and when I looked at it, like he was so right, like it just looked like you know, like this, like this, this giant house. Right. And he's like, it's got to have like four bedrooms at least. He's like, it's got to. And he's like, and because it has more bedrooms, you know, we're going to have more bathrooms. And he's like, we have three girls, you know? And I'm like, I oh, know there's with me, it's four. Right. So, and he would just look at this house and now a little backstory here. Like we didn't even know the people that lived in the house. Like we would say, hi, how are you? You know, from a distance, you know, they were always kind and, you know, but it was never more than a hi or a hello. So I was a little skeptical to say the least. And, um, but my husband, he would just, I would, you know, as you know, time would go on, I would just every once in a while, I'll just catch him. He's like, that house ever goes on the market we're buying it. It's ours. That house. I just love it. I don't know why. I just love it. I'm like, okay. So about a year after the initial time that I saw my hubby looking out the window, I had all the girls outside with me on the front lawn and we were just, you know, kids were playing and I looked up and I saw the, uh, one of the owners from the house across the street approaching me. Now this was unusual. And I kind of thought maybe something was wrong because it, you know, we use always wait from a distance. And she came over and she was like, Hey, I don't even know why I'm here, but we're selling our house and we're noticing, you know, your house is a little on the smaller side and you've got five people in there. You have got to be just busting at the seams in there. And I kind of laughed and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> we are. And, but when I like it, when it hit and I, and it landed, I was like, are you kidding me right now? Like, this is the house that Dan said, if it ever goes in the market, I want to buy. So I was like, she's like, I would, would you like to see it? I said, yes. So I quick ran down to my mom's house, right? Mom, watch the girls. I'm going over to look at, she's like, what the hell are you doing? You know, and we'd only been in our current house, like seven years, you know? 
And she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, the girl across the street looking about selling her house. So we quick went over and I fell in love with the house. My husband was right. It was four full bedrooms. My husband was right. It was two full baths. My husband was right. It was like quadruple the size. Like there was an addition on the back and, you know, the house had to be 2,500 square feet before and they weren't even counting the addition. Um, so, you know, I, we were, I was just, you could have just knocked me over with a feather. I just, my mind was blown that I was standing in the house and my husband has been just like eyeing all this time. And, and you know, and I was too, you know, it, it wasn't, you know, that I didn't want to move. I did. It was just, you know, my husband was more dedicated to it than I was, you know, we had just remodeled our entire home. I had a spa like bathroom. I was like, what are we doing? But anyway, so that very day I put an offer in on the house. They accepted. And I was like, look at, I got to sell my house. And they're like, we'll wait for you. And I'm like, who says that, that they'll wait for you to sell your house? Like they weren't even going to be listing it. They weren't even going to use an agent. They were like, that's totally cool. Fine. No agent. And it saved everybody money. Right. And they were going to wait for me to sell my home. And they did. Um, it sold like three weeks later, which was super speedy back then. It was 2008, just before the housing crash. Right. And I'm like, it just, it just blew me away. I just couldn't even wrap my mind around it. And like, and I've told the story so many times. And the thing that I really wanted to drive home today was this piece of my husband literally manifested us into like, we, we, we literally manifested ourselves into this house you know, and the reason why, and, and quick, like a year, it was a year and we were in the house. And the reason why, and this is just speaks to the point of this is why I am so passionate about, you know, manifesting because it steps you into that possibility that you, you know, there's so much more available for you and to you and wants to be given to you. And it's just in you simply asking and, and, focusing on that. And the reason why my husband was able, we were able to do this so quickly was because his vision was clear. This is the importance of vision boards. This is why I'm so passionate about it because that's how it came in so quickly. He had the exact, I mean, it, it got real convenient. It was across the street. <laughs> you know, it was like my kids weren't going to have to change schools. We could literally walk across the street and move ourselves in. Like the level of convenience was just off the wall, off the charts. Like I said, my mind was literally that emoji with the flames coming out. But the thing, again, that I really want you to hear is like, look at the detail that we had and how that was going to like really help us, right? And this is that clarity that vision boards really bring to the table and to your manifesting practice, right? So there is even more to this story because like universe knows all things, knows everything, right? And whatever your higher power is, God, mother nature, spirit, whatever source knows everything that you need and has everything, everything is around you. It's just when we get clear, you know, that you have choice and when you get clear about what you're choosing, then it can come to you. So there's a really interesting tidbit here that I don't always share, but I'm going to share here with you all because, you know, okay. So with the bigger house came obviously a bigger mortgage, right? I wasn't working at the time. I was a stay at home mom. And, you know, we had three girls that were very close in age. You know, I had three kids under the age of four and a half. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. Like financially, that would have been a lot for me for daycare. So I stayed home. Anyhow, when I'm looking at this house, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, double the house, triple the house, right? Um, you know, oh, and there's one more thing. When I'm looking at the house, <laughs> I had never said this out loud. But we, I've always wanted a pool, right? We had a pool in our little 1300 square foot house. It was a little tiny, like above ground. It had a ladder. It wasn't super tiny, but it was smaller. And I had never said out loud that I wanted um, a pool, right? I had never said that out loud. Never even told my husband because for me, it was just kind of like, gosh, that would be really nice, right? And it was going to be a stretch, right? So when I was looking at the house and I came through with the homeowner 
and I got to the part of the house that was the addition that wasn't being counted in the square footage and I looked out the back there was a built-in swimming pool in the backyard I couldn't even it was way more than I had ever asked for way more and that is the other magical thing about universe right like you you are really clear what you're asking for and universe is like oh girl that's not enough <laughs> we need to give you more <laughs> so you know with that clarity just it's always and more right or better you know this or something better right when we looked inside that pool not only was it a built-in pool it was concrete I wasn't going to have to worry about pool liners. I mean, when you have three kids, like seriously, I mean, we need to keep things to a minimum here, you know? So if I was going to be the one taking care of the pool, which I was, so it was even concrete and it's going to go for all my pool lovers. It was the smooth concrete. It wasn't the kind that ripped your skin off on the bottom of your toes. <laughs> so now it's getting even better, right? And so, so super cool. And there's even more on that story. But I just want to, I'm going to stop it there because otherwise it's going to be an hour. So um, there is like this or something better, right? Like, oh my gosh, it totally just blew my mind. So, and there's another piece to this too of like coming back to like, so now there's going to be like, you know, this is double the house, triple the house, you know, double the payment. I'm not working. I've got three kids. How am I going to pay for it? Right. And so, you know, it comes time to go to the bank. Bank is like, we're good. Don't worry about it. And I'm like, really? Kind of scratching my head, you know, and I'm like, okay, you know, y'all know what you're talking about. So anyway, it turned out that our payment wasn't even going to be going up that much. And I was like, wow, we are like, this is, this deal is just getting better and better. So we closed on the house. Everything is great. My mortgage payment only went up like 500 bucks, you know, not a big thing that I was thinking, right? A year later, I get a letter in the mail. They made a mistake. They calculated my taxes wrong. <laughs> I'm laughing like this is not a panic, right? So like I'm laughing because I'm like, okay, what's the opportunity here? They um, estimate my taxes. So I live in New York. We have like some of the highest taxes in the country. Also, like don't flip out when you hear that my taxes should have been calculated at $5,000 a year when they only calculated them at $1,400 a year. So you can imagine this distinct difference in my mortgage payment, right? But don't worry, universe had my back yet again. And we quickly refinanced the house and I got the interest rate even lower than when I would have purchased the house in 2008. So all this to say, I got the dream house that we had been wanting. You know, my husband, like lit we literally manifested ourselves into this house, right? Introduced me to manifesting, <laughs> you know, and now I'm like, we got to teach other people how to do this. So if you want to know all the steps, all the things, right, of like how for you to do this in your own life. Because like this is my thing. Hi, Nikki. I see you. If this is the thing, if you want to know how to do this for your own life, right? Like because I want like my deep desire is for people to be able to know how to manifest second nature. Like they're just continually manifesting all the time. And because that's what's possible and available. And it's just removing sometimes some blocks, old patterns, things like that, right? That might be getting in the way. So on September 22nd, I'm going to be hosting a free manifesting workshop because I am super passionate about teaching other people how to do this for themselves in their own lives. Because I want y'all, like your minds to just be blown all the time, right? Just like walk around with like... Can you believe that? You know, and like my daughter, her human design, like for those of you um, that know your human design, if you don't, I'm going to, there's even more on this, but like she's a manifesting generator. So like she like thinks the thing and then like, oh, like she'll be at the store and she'll be like, oh, I can't reach that shelf, right? I need help getting that bin down. And like the person next to her will be like, oh, do you need help getting that bin down? Let me get that for you, right? Because that's just her human design. It's so super cool. So Yes. Um, 
I'm going to drop the link for you to sign up. Please sign up so we can make sure that I have enough space and all the things. Please don't wait till the last minute because I want to make sure I have space for everybody to join. And again, I'm going to put that link down here because I really want you all to know how to do this. If you want to know how to do this in your own life, I'm going to be offering up all the tips and all the things. Are you all awesome, Nikki? You're a manifesting generator too. So cool. Yes. So it's really fun to come to a workshop like this because like when you can grab these steps and, and know the things and it just really shifts your perception onto like, oh, okay, I'm getting this. So we can talk more about that there. And I hope to see so many of you there and this will be staying here in this group for you. It's gonna be on my other channels as well. Um, but yeah, if you wanna go back to the beginning and watch this, if you're just joining it, um, yeah, go back and let me know what you think. You know, share and um, yeah, any questions, go ahead and pop them in there and I'll be happy to answer them. All right, everybody, have an amazing day, bye.